All right, hello guys, how's it going? In today's video, we're gonna be taking a long range look through the month of October into the month of November, updating you guys on the upcoming storminess as well as multiple Arctic blasts and even a very major snowstorm happening this month. Very, very interesting stuff here. We can see that there is a nor'easter starting out here uh, in the mid-Atlantic. This is no surprise if you live there. This has been going on for quite a while, so no big surprises here. And as we move towards this afternoon, we can see it's still going to be affecting these regions and actually into tomorrow morning as well. Uh, this low will be very, very close to the coast, so still bringing some impacts over time. Uh, it's as we reach about Thursday, October 6th, that we still have some storminess here for a lot of these areas uh, as a trough and really a very, very serious Arctic blast begins to move down into the eastern United States here. Uh, so all of the storminess along that boundary where the warm air is meeting with this cold air is definitely going to be bringing some pretty decent impacts in here. Uh, by the time we reach Friday, we can see that these impacts dip a little bit further southward, and they have a little bit more of an angle to them because the trough is now angled about like this. So we see pretty uh, interesting angles going on here where these are reaching up and down the coast. Here along the interior eastern United States, we can see for the plains here, we have plenty of storminess happening for states like Wyoming, Colorado, South Dakota, Kansas as well in there and, and we can just see that this trough has fully moved into the eastern United States as well So we see we see a jet stream about like that definitely uh, an interesting setup to say the least all of that storminess moves out However, by the time we're reaching kind of into the weekend Saturday Sunday time frame uh, Definitely looks like that is gonna have moved out there. That's gonna be October 8th October 9th time frame and we stay really to relatively quiet until earlier in almost to the midpoint of that week when we reach Tuesday, Wednesday time frame, we're going to see this major snowstorm begin here for Canada. And this is actually going to dip down into the uh, western United States here, bringing a very, very major early season snowstorm here. Uh, so let's keep going with this. We're going to see this really dive down. So we already see tons of snowfall here for Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, Nevada, uh, Oregon here. This is definitely something that can change quite a bit. So keep that in mind. We're going to take this with a grain of salt because in the long range, this trough that we see here now in the Western United States might end up actually in the Eastern United States. So things could definitely change quite a bit. Uh, so keep that in mind there. Uh, as we continue on, we can see the snow just lingers down here. It warms up quite a bit, but we do see Wyoming, Nevada, Utah, Colorado, still seeing a lot of that snowfall there for the mountaintops. Definitely going to be snow capped mountains there in these regions. Let's just take a look here at the total precipitation through the next 10 days. As you can see, we don't expect that much outside of the western United States where that's going to be in the form of snowfall, so that actually will be quite impactful. But if you're anywhere in the whites, we expect practically no precipitation. Your grays will be about a tenth of an inch or less of precipitation. Your greens will be a tenth of an inch to half an inch. Your blues will be half an inch to an inch. Your yellows will be an inch to two inches. Your reds will be two to five inches. And then your browns will be five to ten inches there of precipitation in these regions total snowfall here we could see if you're in the grays you're expecting a dusting if anything your blues there will be two to six inches of snowfall your purples will be six to ten your pinks will be ten to twenty and there is some pastels in there especially for montana there and Wyoming. that is where we expect 20 inches plus of snowfall so definitely a significant increase here in the total snowfall through the next 10 days uh, probably the most we've seen all season well actually definitely uh, i can say for a fact that this map right here is the snowiest 10-day map we've seen so far making videos this entire fall. So definitely getting things going, a lot more snowy action happening here uh, than we've seen recently. Now let's get into the short-range temperature pattern. As you can see, we already have some cooler air around here. For the eastern United States, where an Arctic blast has moved down, and it's been working its way in for a few days now, so it's been 50s and 60s for a lot of folks here, which for early October is really, really below normal for the most part. Then uh, we can see another one about to move in. Uh, so we're watching this area going to move in, and then long range, we're going to have to watch for one to move into the west to allow that snowstorm to happen. So as we continue this on, we can see by Friday, uh, October 7th here, we see plenty of cooler air here over the north central and the interior northeastern United States here. A lot of these greens indicating 10 to 15 degrees below normal, far below normal temperatures here. So definitely a lot happening here in the longer range. As we move towards Saturday, Sunday time frame, we can see a lot of this has moved into the, uh, primarily here in the eastern United States, moving further southward here with these far below normal temperatures. 
We do have far above normal temperatures out west, but look at how things change in a hurry. So we're going to just continue on with this. Things begin to warm up. They go from cold to neutral to warmer here in the eastern United States as we approach the 11th time frame here. Uh, and then by the time we reach about Thursday the 13th, we have fully engaged in this far below normal temperature pattern here in the western United States there. Some purplish blues and even magenta showing up here. So definitely a significant departure from normal and a major snowstorm possible in this pattern. As we continue on, that kind of lasts through all the way until the 14th, 13th, 14th time frame there. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the long range temperature forecast here according to our CFS model. So we'll take a look at five day increments. Here we're taking a look at the 5th through the 10th here. Um, we do see that we have fully engaged here in a jet stream pattern that's about like this. Uh, so definitely far below normal temperatures in the east here and then far above normal temperatures in the west. Uh, now it's that next five day period that we're watching. So about this time frame for some colder air to make its way into here. This model has significantly less cold air making its way into the west than we've seen from our European model. However, uh, I still think that that is probably the mo more likely outcome here. Usually when in doubt, you go with the European model. It is in the longer range, though, so we will take that with a grain of salt. But uh, below normal temperatures with a snowstorm seems to be the most likely thing happening between the 7th and the 12th of uh, October there. Uh, we still see some colder air in the east here. Keep in mind, this is a five-day period, so this doesn't mean every single day will be like that. But over the course of the five days, that seems to be the most likely average and same thing for the 15th through the 20th here. We get even colder, so potentially a major Arctic blast during this time frame, according to this model. We return to a positive PNA pattern, which just means that this warm air is forcing the cold air to move around that air mass into the eastern United States. It's the only place it has to go at this point. As we take a look at the 20th through the 25th, things get a little bit less cold in the east, but they still are pretty below normal as we're already approaching Halloween time frame there into early November. 25th to 30th of October, things get a little bit more south-based with the cold here, potentially uh, indicating that some storminess will be moving across these southern regions. Sometimes that's what that means. We see warmer air up above, probably some high pressure happening up here. Uh, definitely an interesting setup to say the least. And as we reach the 30th through the 4th here of November, we can see some cooler air here in the eastern United States again, but also in the western United States. So there is no clear-cut pattern happening here. Uh, we need to move on further and see if there is any indication. And as you can see, it becomes a little bit more clear here in the long range that this model wants to return us to a pattern that seems pretty familiar because this is what we've been stuck in for quite a while. Colder in the east overall from the 4th through the 9th of November here. In the west there, we do have some warmer temperatures going on as well, northwest and north central especially there. Definitely an interesting setup here. Let's just take a look at the 10th through the 15th of November. And again, we get stuck in this cooler for the south and the east coast. Potentially a nor'easter pattern uh, setting up here. Wouldn't be surprised if this indicates that we have storms moving up the coast just like this through November uh, 10th through 15th. But again, take this with a grain of salt. This is very, very late in the pattern. And anything can truly happen here. Uh, but this is just an indication of an overall pattern. We really need to pay attention to the overall bigger picture here in the long range like this to maybe get some... Uh, valuable information out of it. But overall, uh, the later we get into this, especially this November time frame, take with a grain of salt. But I do I do like taking a long range look occasionally. And I, I know you guys enjoy it. Usually those videos get the most views and the most likes. So I know that that is what you guys like to hear. Um, so I do like occasionally taking these long range looks as we did today. Anyway, be sure to subscribe for more content like this. About once a week, I'll do a long-range video like this. But we do upload every single day, so be sure to subscribe to those daily uploads. Also, like the video if you did enjoy it. Leave a comment down below with your thoughts, and I'll see you guys in the next video.